we are recording. What's up guys, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we have a Samurai Warrior from for, for the gay video game For Honor. So this character I think his name is Kensei. So cool guy with the red mask, right? Red samurai, it could be just a generic samurai. I just wanted to draw a samurai, to be honest. So I'm on a landscape page, use a pencil and an eraser, sketch it out lightly. And you can always do ink on top afterwards, right? So we're kind of just close up on his face and a bit of his hand and his sword coming up. He's kind of like holding it beside his face. But we're just going to concentrate on this cool sort of face that he's got. He's got a cool face. Um, so let's go. Right, so he's got this helmet, right, that comes across his eyes. And his eyes are just black and his mouth is black. So we're going to focus on this. So we're going to curve the line sort of that way and it kind of comes around into here <clears throat> right like that and then his eyes are just underneath this right so we got this sort of black sort of section that comes around underneath the eyes there Underneath the helmet, sorry, the eyes. And then the other eye, same sort of thing. Underneath, and this is just black inside here. Right, so then this mask, right? So we've got a line for his nose, right? It comes kind of down the middle, like a light line like that. And then there's like an arrow pointing down. underneath there and then we would curve it around like so all right it's got a mustache underneath this so we got like this sort of spiking kind of hairy sort of thing coming out it was all the way around Right, like so. You can add some texture and things on that if you want. Okay, so we'll go back up, finish his nose. So his nostrils come around here. Kind of go in. And then this kind of comes out around his cheek, right? So it's this red sort of samurai mask. So there. And then down. Like that. With these layers of sort of stuff like this, right? So this comes around. Again, comes down under his cheek, up. And then this comes down. To there. So, he has these lines that come into his eyes, so like underneath here. Like that, and then underneath. Here. And then there's this rope that sort of hangs down onto his face, right? Or it's like what's tying his mask to his helmet. So you just draw this line and then just do these sort of roping kind of curve lines on. So, and that just goes into his mask, sort of there. And um, we'll just do an extra line, just kind of around his eye. Just a light sort of one. And then he's got like a cheekbone or something here. And underneath here we got his mask, and it's one of those weird sort of open things. So it goes around. 
down and around there. And then this is black inside here. Like so, and then we have a bit of an edge line just coming around that lip. Like that. And then more sort of beard, sort of hair. So and his chin just down here, round chin like that. And then this comes up around for his jaw, which goes in behind this sort of rope thing. It will go like up, out, out, and then in behind the rope, just up here. And then this has sort of a, an edge to it, so it's gonna come down this way. Down around again. Like so, and then like some lines around his mouth here. that okay so rest of his helmet we'll go up and finish the helmet here so he's got these big horns that stick up here right so curves around like so we've got this metal sort of section in here comes around like so So these two have metal edges, so like you just go around gold sort of plated kind of things, right? So you want to just go around each one again. So, and then there seems to be these circles on his, so like this kind of thing. I mean, you can this right like so and like sometimes there'll be cracks and things you know scars right, just this kind of texture and things because he's a, a battle hardy samurai so then coming out from here, we have the rest of his horns, right? So all the way up to the top of my page. Right like that. And then it kind of curves in here. And then we have this notch taken out of it. So it like curves around, back up to here, right around, back. And then this goes down again, down again. And then all the way back down to here. Okay. And yeah, if you want like some texture sort of stuff, like scratches and cracks and darts and debris and things, if you want on that. And then he has wings coming out the side and a dome sort of helmet, right? So the wings on the side, we'll do those first. We're just coming out from here. Curve like that. Come down. And 
and then curve back in towards the helmet. So it goes back in and then sort of up towards this rope sort of up here. And this has an edge again. Like that. Going around there. And then there's a circle inside here. And this has like sort of, you know, just sort of golden kind of designs and patterns on them. And you can do that any way you want it really. And some scratches maybe and things. Maybe, maybe a bit of an edge just here. Make it look a bit 3D. Okay, and we'll do this over the other side as well. So we're just coming out from here. Curve it up. Down. And back in. And up towards that rope. And then we'll go with the gold trim. Inside. Down. there and then our circle inside with our detailing so inside there and then cracks and if you want like an edge sort of thing. Okay, dome helmet then. And like so. Goes in, goes in, and this will have an edge to it. So, and then it'll go up around to a spike, sort of up, up here. So it'll go up like so. Up like that. And then there is this spike sticking off the top up here. That and then it comes up to a point up here. Line down the middle. Okay, so then he's got more details sort of coming around here. So, so a line like straight down. And then these sort of golden sections here. So at the one in the middle points down like that. And then the others curve around each side. Side and you do kind of just the same thing. Here, you do the same thing on the other side. So 
something else here. Look at that. Ooh. Like texture and dots and cracks and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so more helmet and rope and all this kind of thing. So let's see what we can see here. So the helmet kind of comes down the side of his head, right? Just underneath these. So it comes down here, around, back up and joins the helmet up here. And these have sort of stitching. These kind of thick stitching things. Right, one there, another one here. Maybe an edge line. So he's more rope sort of coming down here and coming across his chin. So, and like tassels and things coming down here. So it's like tassels here, right? So then we got like all texture. Another one down there, another one here. And then on this side too. And just these rope-like things just hanging down from the side of his head. And texture on them like that. So his shoulder comes across here and his arm comes up here and then there's like some details inside. So say like shoulder bends right across these tassels, right? There's like all fabric lines and stuff on him there and like his other back of his shoulder sort of goes that way. Right, and then four lines for his arm come down here and there. The hand comes back in this side then. Right, so the hand then so it comes down and then back in, say, here. Right, and he's got wooden sort of shields on his wrist. So... So like sticking up here and then these ties on them like that just at the edge of the wood and then it goes that way down it's like some torn fabric so this is like fabric going down this way And then some more fabric here tied around his wrist. And this has got wooden texture. On that. All right. And then his hand is here holding the sword. And then there's like the rest of his anatomy and sort of stuff inside there, which is done pretty quickly, I would say. So say... What can we see? We can see his hand guard. So it comes up here, bumps around and like bumps around here and comes down. There's like his hand guard there, and we can see a thumb coming out here, like big thick gloved thumb. 
and then this has edge lines to it and something like a golden shield or something on the back of his wrist like that and this is all texture on it okay right so the handle of his sword then comes up just from here right and then the hilt of his sword across change direction go there and this has like an edge goes up the sides straight up like that and then we'll go down up to here and then this has an extra line coming across there and our sword comes out from here so it goes of connectors on it and the back of the hilt of the sword will go around the back out the other side and down to there there's all stuff on that And then his sword goes up that way. Now you can use a ruler for this if you want, but it is a kind of a curved sword. So depending on how you feel about that kind of stuff. So we can go gradually up and maybe gradually curve it. Right, kind of like that and then we'll put a line just down this and this can be a bumpy line you know because it's the inside of the sword <clears throat> okay so then his shoulder just here goes in beside the thumb like that and he's got like some more like armor and rope and stuff coming down here so like another one that like coming another rope underneath its chin actually so it like comes down and goes around then the other side see the inside of it here this is like a thick rope line Like so, and then he's more armor plates and stuff here. So just coming down his chest. Like another sort of rope or something here. Another one there. Like some stitching or something on the inside here. Just keeping that on. Texture. And more armor coming down this way. On his shoulder, and this has circles on it. And then something else in here. I think it's just more tassel sort of in inside here, like more textured tassel sort of stuff. It's all dark shadow inside there, really. Um, do, 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 do. Texture, texture. And he's got a, a box like armor that comes down here. This one's hanging off down this way, you can't really see it. But you could leave it like this um, if you just wanted to have 
normal sort of armor, but I'm just going to draw this in just because it's in the picture and I can't not draw it. So it's like this box that was down this way. I kind of like that texture and stuff. Um, and then, you know, I'm going to give him maybe like a, a scratch kind of coming out of this thing here. And as much kind of of this texture stuff as you want. The more texture, the sort, sort of more realistic it'll look. But... I won't bore you. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's how to draw a samurai warrior. Hope it was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.